And what time is it? It's 3.06. Oh, damn. The Ubisoft friggin' show started. Oh, well. Yeah, that's crap anyways. I'm not really looking forward to the new Assassin's Creed. It's just, I don't know. I was looking forward to a samurai or a ninja based. I think, you know, I think a ninja based Assassin's Creed would be more appropriate because it is called Assassin's Creed. So, but I, I don't know. I, I don't like what they did with it. I'm Not a lot of people are happy about what they're doing with the game either. You know, I wanted to play a Japanese Assassin's Creed with a friggin' Japanese character as a main protagonist nothing against yasuke or anything like that and he was an actual real character but uh i hear that he wasn't an actual samurai according to history he was more like a retainer or something i don't know bro what the fuck was that <laughs> but yeah i don't know it's like what the fuck are you doing <laughs> With all these games, I, I would like to play with the characters that actually belong to each each culture. You know, like Assassin's Creed Origins. That it, it was appropriate. And you know what? I, I'm let me shut up. I, you shut the fuck up. <laughs> rambling on about it. Ah, talking. Just shut the fuck up. I mean, who knows? You know, I probably will end up buying the game anyways. <laughs> if it, if the gameplay is good, so. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm checking out Dark Souls Remastered. No, re-remastered. Uh, it's a mod I installed that improves everything from lighting to textures to, yeah, pretty much everything. Even, I think it might even improve reflections and stuff like that. Or maybe even colors. I don't know. But I installed Reshade as well. So I'm playing it VR as usual with Luke Ross's VR mod. And if anybody wants to know how I install the mods, you know what? Here is a quick tutorial. So if you want to know how to install the mods, I briefly go over step by step on how to do it. And and right now check it out what's up everybody all right as uh previously mentioned as promised here is a brief tutorial on how to install dark souls re remastered graphics overhaul so uh, the process is relatively simple so i'm going to try to go through the uh, instructions as fast as i can what you want to do is go into nexusmods.com and come to this page and look for dark souls re remastered and if you're curious about what this is, I mentioned briefly what it is. It adds dynamic shadows to every map, uh, it upscales like every texture, generates new normal maps for most services, upscales armor and weapon textures, most of which are ported from PTDE, whatever that means. Adds parallax occlusion mapping to more surfaces. You can better re water reflections. You can read it for yourselves. And it even contains an in uh, installation process, which you can also read. Or just, you know, if you don't want to read it, just follow along. So go into the files, download each one. There has been an update on the 9th of June, and I downloaded this before that but I just re-downloaded the new updates, the new updates, and it's pretty big actually, around 10 gigs, so be warned. So there's three files that you need. The main one, which is 10.1 gigs. There is a patch here, 1.05.1 as the time of the recording or this recording. And uh, this is optional, you don't have to, but there is an RTGI uh, reshade preset. So I'm, you don't really have to add it. I put it in anyways, but I don't even know if it's gonna work or not because I'm going to be playing this game in VR with Luke Ross's real VR mod. So I don't know if it works or not, but he has his own reshade that you can download. Just go to his Patreon and there's like a whole bunch of uh, reshade textures and all that stuff. And you can pretty much just download it and drag it into your into your main game. And as soon as you start the mod up or the game up and his real VR mod starts, you can find the reshade and you can see all the textures and everything that is compatible. So do it that way and then download this if you want and then just drag the preset into the main games folder. So yeah, download these three files or at least the first two. And you're gonna also want to download the Dark Souls Remastered Materials update and you overwrite any of the files in the main 
main game. You do this last. All right, so here we go. I already downloaded everything. It's gonna help, by the way, if you just sign up for a Nexus Mods account, and it's only like seven bucks, I think seven US dollars, to become a member. So, you know, if you want fast downloads, because if you don't, it's gonna take a while for it to download. There's like a cap where you can only download like maybe two or three megabytes per second or something like that. So if you have an account and a paid subscription, there is no limit. And it took me like maybe less than five minutes to download 10 gigs, depends on your speed. All right, so anyhow, here are the files. I have it set up in such a way where I'm very systematic when installing mods. Here are the files. Go into your game, which I have already down here, and you should open the game up. If you're having trouble finding it, just right click your game, go into properties, installed files, and click onto browse, and it should automatically open up. Here are all the game's base files here. It looks kind of daunting, a little intimidating, but you know, don't worry, a lot easier than you think it is. All right, so the first one, what you want to look for is the Dark Souls Remastered and simply just, you can unzip it or, you know, if you're lazy like me, just double click onto the file and it should automatically open. Hit Control A, highlight everything, and then just drag all 11 files into the game's main folder, like so, and drop. And it should take a little while, depends if you're playing the game on a hard drive or an SSD or an NVMe. I have the game installed on an NVMe, I think. I'm not, you know what? I'm not even sure. Let me check. Okay. Yeah, I have it installed on my C drive. So it's going to take a while. I'll pause the video just in case and I shall be back when it's finished. All right, I am back and I kind of messed up. So change the plans, forgive me. It was saying it's gonna take more than a day for all the files to transfer over. So you're gonna wanna actually unzip the files. So what I did was I made a new folder in my downloads folder, as you can see here, and I just extracted it, right click, and make sure you have like WinRAR or 7-zip and you just simply just open files up with 7-zip, which I did already, so I'm not gonna do. And here are all the files. So same thing as before, and hopefully this will go a lot faster, a lot smoother. Same thing, Control A, hit Control again, hold down Control, click onto Dark Souls, the zip file, because you don't want that. You can actually erase this after you open it. So same thing, you just click and drag all 11 files into the game's main folder. And it's, yeah, look how fast it is. Much faster, I think. No, wait a minute. Okay, replace. Yeah, this is a lot faster. Three minutes, boom, done. Okay, so after that's finished, you can confidently erase the unzipped file. You don't need that. Keep your folder, it says new folder, and drag the patch into the new folder. Open up the new folder, right click, open up 7-zip once again, and you'll see two files or two folders. One says map, the other one says param. Highlight both of these and click and drag to the main game. Replace it, done. Now you can erase it. And the same thing, click onto the material, update, drag into the new folder, double click, right click, unzip it. This folder says MTD, click and drag it into the game again and replace it, done, erase. And here is the optional reshade you want. I, I'll just, you know what? It's just a preset, I and I. Hopefully the, uh, the game I can access it through the VR mod. I don't know. We'll see. And I believe with this one. Yeah. Okay. I already have a bunch of reshades like I and I's or presets. Click and drag into there. And that is it. This is optional. I mean, you don't have to, if you're into virtual reality, download Luke Ross's real VR mod. I'll provide a link in the, the video description and uh, you can go to Patreon and get it yourself. It's not free though, but it's well worth it because he has like every month, it seems like this dude is coming out with like new games that he's making compatible with his VR mod. And it's for me, it's worth it. You know, it's like 10 bucks or something like that. So um, I have it installed already. Uh, it's very easy to install. All you have to do, where is it? He have it here somewhere. Well, all right, you just basically put the zip file into the folder and unzip it and that's it. And then you'll see a real config.bat and you just double click it. And I have it installed already, but you know, I have OCD, so I wanna make sure um, everything's installed correctly. So I'm just gonna put delete. And when you do that, it will basically um, not erase it, but I'm trying to be cool so the kids at the rink don't know what a loser you become. <laughs> I know, what a loser, right? No shit. <laughs> It will just re-update it, I think. So, uh, all right, this one, he said, okay, he made it in such a way where you have to comply with the whole online, offline features. So he's protecting himself, which Bruh. makes sense. Just <laughs> okay. type in yes, that you agree. And 
fixed all the folders and now it is compatible press any key to continue and that's it it exit out all right so yeah i hope you uh, enjoyed this video tutorial it's like i said relatively easy and just follow along all right if anything goes wrong and if you don't like the textures just go back to the corresponding folders erase the core uh, all the corresponding folders like map and param and whatever files that is contained in the texture overhaul and go into properties right click the game go into properties go to install files remember erase those folders first that got changed basically and you just click on verify integrity of game files and it will automatically reinstall not the entire game but will reinstall anything that's missing in terms of its base textures and that is it all right so yeah like and subscribe if you found this tutorial useful and now back to the game okay so yeah, I am back. I hope that helped. If you found it useful, like and subscribe. All right, I'm gonna start the game off with, I think I all my saves are gone in this one, so I'd rather start over anyways. I installed other gameplay stuff that <clears throat> makes the game easier because you know, I'm just a noob when it comes to these frigging games. I, I suck big time. So here is new game and all my settings are pretty much set. I have the game. Yeah, I'm gonna try 3472 to see what kind of performance I get. So if I get at least 60 to 70, I'll be happy. And I might even try to increase it to its max, which is like 3920, but maybe that, yeah, maybe that's gonna be kind of stupid, not very wise to do. So here we go, new game. Okay, this is brightness, whatever. Now oh, here we go, okay. HUD. I have it. You know, I'll turn the HUD on for now. I hate subtitles. Music, I'll turn down. Alright, that's good. Ah, oh, jeez, come on. Yes, yes, yes. Holy Jesus, come on. Okay, character selection. I try to... Male, class, I... You know what? I... Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I don't know. High HP. Okay. You know, I'll just leave it a warrior. What is this gift? I... Yeah, I don't even know what any of this shit means. Whatever. None. Physique. Uh, uh, tiny head. There we go. Top heavy. You know what? Large upper body. I'm gonna make this dude look jacked. Oh, face. What? Commoner. Ah, oh, gee. You know, I don't even care about any of this shit, man. A Delta Farmer. I tried downloading Guts. I don't know if it's gonna show or not. I, you know what? I'm just gonna leave it. Delta Farmer. Hair. Let me see. Bobbed. Ha. No. Where is the Guts haircut? It's not around. Shit. Okay, I'm gonna have to re-download the guts. You know, I'm just gonna leave him as bald. I don't care. Name, do I have to? I don't... Great, now I gotta go to the keyboard. I'm just gonna name it blah. Blah, 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 blah. Blah. And it won't type. Okay, wait. Blah. Blah. There we go. Okay, can I play it? Accept. Yes, accept. No. Why is it not letting me... No, 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 no. Customize. Oh, I got it. All right. All right, here we go. Yeah, sure. It's one thing I hate about these games is these character freaking selection and customization. I don't care about none of that shit. I just want to play the game. I am, however, obsessed with the Berserk anime series, so I always like to put guts in all these games. Disparity. 
heat and cold. Hope it's not too dark. And what time is it? It's 3.06. Oh, damn. The Ubisoft friggin' show started. Oh, well. Yeah, that's crap anyways. I'm not really looking forward to the new Assassin's Creed. It's just, I don't know. I was looking forward to a samurai or a ninja-based... I think, you know, I think a ninja-based Assassin's Creed would be more appropriate because it is called Assassin's Creed. So, but I, I don't know. I, I don't like what they did with it. I'm Not a lot of people are happy about what they're doing with the game either. You know, I wanted to play a Japanese Assassin's Creed with a friggin' Japanese character as a main protagonist nothing against yasuke or anything like that and he was an actual real character but uh i hear that he wasn't an actual samurai according to history he was more like a retainer or something i don't know bro what the fuck was that <laughs> but yeah i don't know it's like what the fuck are you doing <laughs> all these games I, I would like to play with the characters that actually belong to each each culture you know like assassin's creed origins that it, it was appropriate and you know what i i'm let me shut up I, you shut the fuck up <laughs> rambling on about it ah talking just shut the fuck up i mean who knows you know i probably will end up buying the game anyways <laughs> if, it, if the gameplay is good so <laughs> but if there's tons of microtransactions man uh yeah Freak that. Then I'm not gonna buy it. So I'll probably wait like a few days or a week after the game's released and see some reviews. And you know, if it's not that bad, I just might purchase it. Hurry up. I mean, I guess I can skip this. Can I? No, it's not letting me skip. Whoa! Oh wow! Or my face is on the floor. But damn, this looks friggin' good. Yes. Indeed. Yo, a hundred and eighty frames. Nice. The undead. Kind of dark, but I'll brighten up a little bit. And in this land. Wow, this is impressive. The undead are corralled and led to the north. Well, maybe I'll leave it. I mean, it's a dungeon. It's supposed to be dark. To await the end of the world. Oh, the bars. Prison bars has disappeared. This is your fate. Oh, shit. It's a freaking rat. Yeah, this is impressive. That's insane, 180 frames per second. Oh, why is my character's face look zombie-ish? Uh-oh. Okay. Dude, this looks the performance is friggin' insane. It's so smooth. It's buttery smooth, man. All right, let me check some stuff out. Oh, shit. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Nope. Third. Okay. Closer. Over the shoulder. First. I'll try first for now. And... Okay, tourist mode is on. Yeah, let me just get a little more acclimated to the game. 
Okay. Recording in 4K. And I want to change to... See what happens when I put a legacy AR. Oh, wow, 90 frames. Yeah, I like really... I really like the legacy AER. I use that in all my games now. Go go... Okay, here's the reshade. You know, I might take off curves. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna take off curves because it's still it's too dark. Let's see what other effects I can add. Alright, fake HDR. Levels plus. That's gonna make it super dark, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take that on. Okay, vibrance. Okay, it's using the same filters probably from one of my other previous presets, but normally these are this is what I use. So DPX clarity, Luma Sharpen, and levels. Uh, there is one with the What am I looking for? No. Okay, the Dark Souls presets right here. One oh let me see what that does. No, I like the other one. No. No, I like mine. Here's 105. Nope. It's same shit. No, I'm gonna go for the other one. Okay. Yeah, the colors really pop in this. Okay, looks like I'm getting them. Yeah, 90 frames. Oh, this is super smooth. Alright, give me that key. Oh, wow. Hey there, buddy. Yeah, it's a little too fast. Alright, I'm gonna switch to the standard. Oh, I need a better sword. Oh, that's the first boss, big boy. I gotta find a sword. Come on. Where to go? The water effects are pretty good. I also installed a minimal HUD mod, as you can see. And I got rid of the enemy health bars. character looks like he's freaking dead. I don't know why he's doing that. I think it has to do with humanity or something. It's not very smooth for some reason. Hmm. Where? No. Options. 
Okay, PC settings. You know, man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lower the resolution. See what happens. Nothing happened. The hell. What is going on here? I'm not noticing a difference. Oh, I'm seeing some weird effects here. I can't explain it. It's like I'm seeing double a little bit. I don't know if it's showing up. I don't know if it will show up. Flat screen, but it's off. Ever since I changed the resolution. Fuck. Hold on a second. No PC settings. See what happens if I put a 3920 then. Here we go. Still looks good. Holy shit, I'm still getting 90 frames at max. Alright, these double effects went away. Alright, doesn't open from that side. Alright, I think I have to run past this boss. Run. Okay, so I got a shield. Now all I gotta do is find a freaking sword. Change equipment. Here it is. Nice. Got a shield. Excuse me. Oh, damn it. Move. Okay, well. Yo. This guy doesn't die. 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 Please die. All right, here we go. Equip the sword. Sword. Gimme. Here we go. He's not locking on. Lock on. Oh, that's why. Damn. God, how to get up there? All right. 
Alright, I have to go up there. Well, let me open this gate up. Yeah, playing this in Skyrim, in Skyrim VR, kind of made me want to... Oh, only got 60 souls? Maybe yearn to play this game. And I never finished this game. But I'll, maybe I'll, you know, I'll try my best. Oh! Damn, man. Yeah, okay. Let me shut up and just concentrate here. Wait, it's locked. Uh, well, I forgot. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I have to go this way. Oh, you. Oh, you. <laughs> You're no hollow. Thank goodness. I'm done for, I'm afraid. I'll die soon, then lose my sanity. I wish to ask something of you. You and I... Love the water. Dead. Ooh, look at the reflection. Hear me out, will you? Yeah, what do you want? I have failed in my mission, but perhaps you can... Don't worry there, brother. I failed in life. There's an old saying in my family. Thou who art undead art chosen. The hell's that white shit? Any cum stains in the wall? Maketh pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. A lot of cum stains. Now the bell of awakening. The fate of the undead thou shalt know. Well, now you know. And I can die with hope in my heart. Oh, one more thing. Man, I love these reflections. An Estus flask. An undead favorite. Oh. That's all you're gonna give me? Now I must bid fair. I want your shield. I would hate to harm That's a nice looking shield. Death. So go now. And thank you. Use item. Let me see if I can beat this boss first try. Oh, he's looking right at me. Oh, what? Oh, damn it. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's not happening. Holy crap. Give me your asshole. Give me- Oh, shit. Nope, get up, get up, get up. Yeah, I suck. He still got me. Holy shit. I gotta work on my dodges. 
Dodge. I'm still getting hit. Oh my god, bro. And I'm out. Oh my god. Dude, 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 no. Run. And I died. Souls. All right. Yes, I don't care. I I I, I cheated. I'm gonna try one more time and then that's it. This is just a test to see if the mod. Oh no, wait, wait, wait. This is a test just to see the mod, if the mod works. time what? are you serious holy Jesus damn I gotta stop screaming like a little bitch This is pissing me off. But anyhow, all right. Yeah, the game works, and uh, I'm going to call it quits. I, I really don't feel like playing this game right now. All right. So with that said, I am out of here. Hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope you uh, check out the tutorial as well. It's in the beginning. This is how you install the mods, or at least the main one for the, the re remastered overhaul. All right, so with that said, I am out of here, ladies and gents. I'll see you on the next one. All right, take care and have a great night. Bye-bye.